Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for the weekend. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is collective, so take what resonates. Your reading is the longest reading so far. I have so many cards that I pulled from the tarot deck as I was shuffling, and you guys got a lot to say. You are definitely fighting for something, or there's going to be some type of argument with the Five of Wands, feeling very competitive, very offended, very challenged, wanting to stand up for what you believe in. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You don't have to be. There's a lot of wands in your reading, so maybe you're just feeling very passionate about something. With um, the next card that you have here, which is the Knight of Pentacles, you are definitely slow to decide something but you finally made your decision and now you are taking action the way this dragon looks in the second card with his mouth open it's like you guys could be getting into a verbal confrontation an argument of some sort um but with the queen of wands it's like this person that you're going to fight it's like i'm hearing like the mortal combat fight like when you guys are ready to go at it it's like this is you with the pentacles earth's energy and then this is wands fire energy a queen of wands so you could be arguing with someone 111 also intuitive like you a partner a relationship a friend someone that you're going to be communicating with you guys are going to war with this person it's like you finally decided um and the time has come with the page of cups here reversed you know that this person probably doesn't want anything to do with you so maybe you're communicating about how you screwed up something in the past because you could have been very selfish page of cups is someone who wants to give a a slight offer of some sort some type of peace offering um you know something small but it is an affectionate energy but reversed it's someone that did not want to give any love and now you're regretting it you're thinking about how you rejected this person and yes with the world card you could be very nostalgic thinking going back through memory lane um spirit is saying wait with the 13 death card scorpionic energy you've gone through some type of the transformation if you do approach this person be cautious in how you communicate with them you could have given them a bracelet or they gave you a bracelet some type of jewelry or gift that you think about them you could be dealing with the libra with the empress this empress is very guarded with the two of swords you could have hurt her and she turned into someone who is very loving to someone who has a dagger and is ready to stab you because of what you've done I'm also seeing her very guarded and standoffish. You could have given her a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Um, she worked very hard to protect herself, and you could have been someone who hurt her. This is collective, so take what resonates. If it's not your reading, don't listen. Um, but if this is making sense for you, someone who you used to connect with, they are blocking you or they have cut cords with you, and you felt that, and now you're coming back to claim them or ask them, why do they do this? Why do they behave this way? This person is at peace. They are protected. They have a whole army. If you look at this card, they have warriors. They have a whole spiritual team. This woman is female. Feminine energy is very enlightened, even if you're not female. The feminine energy is very enlightened, has healed herself, is protecting her energy, her emotions. Um, she has blood now in her emotions, meaning someone could have hurt her heart very badly, and she has healed with the two of cups it's like she has transmuted the negative to positive she's gone within this person could be your other half because you could be marrying each other this person knows that you're coming to them or you know that this person is your person if there was any type of confusion there with the page of wands it's like you are finally coming forth wanting to speak with her she was holding a dagger in her hand you're holding a dagger so you both are wanting to speak you could be spying on each other psychically or telepathically um, you're both very intuitive. You want to open up and talk with his hand open. I feel like this is you ready to open up your emotions because there's a lot of water in this reading and tell them how you feel. And then with the 10 of wands, it's like you could feel very sad. There is a strong emotional bond or attachment that you have to this air sign because the swords are standing out to me and you are feeling it very badly. You can't release them. You can't let them go. And you've tried many, many times. And now you're finally like, screw it i'm just gonna go talk to them because i can't take it anymore with the nine of pentacles um this person is very single you could be very attracted to them i was gonna say she's very single happy and abundant she's doing very well for herself she's protecting herself but she's very sexual she's very fiery very attractive um something about her body you could like her legs or her curves or the curvature of her spine um with this ace of wands uh yeah you're definitely attracted to someone i'm also seeing you come back for this person because you know that they could have other options um and you're being very competitive and you don't want them to have other people in their life so it's like you know you either step up to the plate or this person's going to move on without you 444 definitely lots of messages coming through for you and that's why you're coming back for this person because you do want to work on things with them 
with the three of pentacles it's like you see them now for who they are um, maybe it's been three months or longer but you finally have the courage to come up to them this could also be happening in march but i know i said this was a weekend reading so it could be you just be planning or having some type of strategy on how to approach this person and with the ace of cups um, you're very attracted to them this person could have red lipstick or something about their eyes or the way they do their makeup is very attractive to you um the way they talk to you when they move their lips you watch them it turns you on i don't know why that's coming out um <laughs> but you're very attracted to this person however with the five of pentacles you left them out in the cold or they left you out in the cold um you feel like they might not want to come towards you because of the seven of swords there was some type of lying sneaky communication maybe you were talking bad about them or they were talking bad about you maybe both of you guys were doing this to each other because of the way that you treated them so they returned the favor and i just saw two crows fly by so to me that means yes um what you did they sent it back to you and you're definitely dealing with the libra queen of swords energy she's got like a dragon and her sword is like she's ready to use it on you could be very attracted to this woman's chest area or the shape of her figure she could be curvy very intuitive with her hair with the hair is about wisdom and the way this is like fanned out in the mouth opening of the dragon it's like she's receiving downloads and she is listening and then with the six of swords she moved away from you because of your behavior or something that you've done but with the page of pentacles um she knows you're guarded she's guarded you're guarded both of you guys are guarded but yet somehow you want to come through and talk to her and then with the six of pentacles i think you had five 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 also in um these cards so there's definitely some major changes that are coming through 666 i believe were the cards as well there's definitely changes here you're wanting to work on things because you knew that maybe you didn't give an equal give and take with the six of pentacles maybe this person gave to you more than you gave to them and that's why they moved away from you but now you're wanting to come back and talk to them because you realize they are your person with the 11 card here which is the strength card um this person has a lot to say to you because of the blue which is reminding me of like the throat chakra energy so she is very focused on you she's like no bs very intuitive to me this is like her third eye is fully awakened she sees you for who you are you might try to guard or mask how you feel they see right through you i'm hearing that Nicki minaj song that says you see right through me how do you do that shit so that's what I'm hearing. Um, I can't remember the name of the song, but it's definitely something where this person is very intuitive. They know everything about you. Even if you try to hide your emotions or you try to present yourself in a certain way, they know that you're lying. They see right through your BS. So yeah, my video got caught, cut off. I don't know what happened, but I'll go ahead and continue. I was saying that this person sees right through your BS. Her throat chakra is fully awakened now. The way this is opening is here and the fact that this is all blue. So it's like she's ready for you to come to her. She knows you're going to speak to her. She's waiting for you to approach her. And when you do, she's going to tell you everything that is on her mind. Um, it's kind of like you've helped her become stronger in a sense because of all the BS that went through in this relationship, this connection, this friendship, whatever this was. She is stronger now and she is not letting anyone hurt her in any way, shape or form. She is also healed because of the purple in her eyes. Her eyes could do like a different something about her eyes. Very colorful. Um, they change colors in the sun. I don't know. There's something about the light in her eye that you have seen. And if you try to hide yourself, you can't. She's very intuitive and she knows what you're basically about. So those are the messages. Hopefully things work out in your favor. You did have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you both are very highly intuitive and spiritual, but the truth does need to come out. Someone has to speak and I feel like it's going to be you earth signs. So whoever is talking, um, be mindful. Try not to cause any arguments because I do see some type of argument or discussion that will be had, but hopefully the outcome is a positive one. Um, you're also spying on this person because I see this guy in the corner kind of like looking because you are attracted to her or this feminine energy. So it's almost as if though you know this person and you've been watching them from the side or you're getting information from other people about this person, but you are definitely going to come towards them. You guys both have a strong connection here and there will be some type of communication that's going to happen over the weekend or within seven days is what I'm hearing. Those are the messages. Let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And I send you guys lots of love and light. Bye, guys.